which of the following conditions is most likely in this patient? Placenta accreta, increta, percreta, previa, or, or vasa previa. A 34-year-old pregnant woman with a history of two prior C-sections is undergoing a routine ultrasound at 32 weeks gestation. The sonographer notes that the placenta appears to be abnormally adherent to the uterine wall. Which of the following conditions is most likely in this patient? Okay, so we have a 34-year-old woman um, who's had two prior C-sections, so that's a, already a risk factor. For one of them, I know that to be the fact. Um, also, it's to the uterine wall, so I don't have a great way to remember per creta, in creta, and a creta, but I know it's not previa or vasa previa. Those to do with blood vessels. And so this is doing something with that. I believe if I had to say something, I would say, um, I think a creta, so A, but I'm not entirely sure. I just know that there's a, the risk factor is um, two C-sections um, and um, it's attached to the uterine wall. In creta, I think of like, I think per creta is like through the wall. A creta is like, I don't remember exactly. I, it's honestly a, a guess for me with a, a credit, in credit, or per credit. Okay. So you want to uh, keep your answer with a credit? I'll probably keep it. It's I don't have any other reason to change it. Okay, good. So so this one is a little bit tricky, right? It just says that it's adherent to the unit wall. It doesn't say it's invaginated like halfway through, which is going to be in credit. And then per credit is going to be through it and then into like sometimes it can go to like bladder or rectum or all sorts of random stuff, right? Um, so which one do you think is worse? A credit, in credit, or per credit? Probably per credit. Yeah, per credit is like horrible, right? It's like through and through, right? Um so, yeah, they always say, you know, the myometrium, if it goes into the muscle itself, not just the mucosal layer on the superficial, right, that's mm -hmm. increta and, of course, all the way through, right, penetrates, right? So you can think of, I mean, per credit as penetration, complete penetration. Mm -hmm. So, um, or another way that I used to remember is it's an alpha order. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right. That's great. <laughs> yeah. So, so the, the further closer to Z, the worse it is, right? Um, but yeah, so let's talk a little bit about kind of placenta previa. Okay. The placenta is near the os, right? Yes. So that's going to be kind of annoying, right? Because the placenta shouldn't be near the os, right? And vasa previa is the vessels are crossing over the os, which can cause some bleeding, right? So yeah, yes. so good. I think you, you went through this great. And like I said, use your test taking strategies. Great. You picked an answer choice, right? That's your gut and you didn't change it, right? Because there's no reason to change it. There was no reason, yeah, and so luckily we got it right. Yep.